Good afternoon, everybody. This is Movie Social. It's your boy Steph, the silent assassin, and the boy Ricky over here today. Hi, everybody. So today's review is going to be on the Netflix movie The Wrong Missy. Uh, David Spade. I don't know for sure is in it. Um, you have David Spade. You have Nick. You also have Lauren. And we're going to get on Lauren in a minute. Lauren, what's her name? What is her name? Lipkiss. I'm not trying to botch the last name, but I believe it's Lipkiss. Ah, okay. So, um, I'm going to give my thoughts on it this time first, since you gave your thoughts on Snowpiercer first last time. Um, so... When when Rick sent me the trailer, he's like, "Yo, look at look at this trailer." I was like, "Here come Rick about to about to suggest something corny." Is I don't know what as he always does over his movie. But yo, I watched the trailer and like the trailer had me in tears. Like I was cracking up just from watching the trailer. So I was like, "Yeah, I definitely gotta watch this." this set. So I watched it, and from beginning to end, like I feel like. It started off funny from the rip. Like, the blind date was hilarious. From the blind date uh, to, the, to the, uh, the plane ride was hilarious. The uh, whole entire trip in Hawaii was hilarious. I really, really, really thought that was, like, one of the funniest movies um, in, like, that I've seen in a long time. One thing I can say about David Spade is he is old now. Like, I, like the last time I really like, like the whole picture of David Spade to me is Joe Dirt, which is hilarious. But like, ever since Joe Dirt is like, he's gotten old, and that would that would that was something you know nostalgic for me there. But like I said, the concept of the movie of getting uh, inviting someone by mistake or like a, he, he didn't butt dial or butt text her. He knew he was texting, but he thought he was texting the wrong person. He was texting the wrong person was absolutely hilarious. And I feel like in a real world, you could tell this movie because in a real world, if somebody did that, they'd be like, oh, I dialed the wrong person. Or I texted the wrong person. My fault or whatever. From the beginning, they don't told that they, they did that early. But I don't know. Like, like I said, I think the movie was really funny from beginning to end. Um, I really didn't have any gripes about this movie because again, I love comedy movies. Um, my favorite part, if I had to see, like pick the very part, was when um she fell off the cliff, right? <laughs> and the ball from HR was like, "Oh my gosh, she's still alive! Damn!" <laughs> Not oh my god she's still alive from the fall or anything like that. Like he just hit it with a oh my god she's still alive. Damn, that joint took me out. Like, that buried me. And another funny part is when the ex it was trying to have the the, you know, the menage a trois or whatever. <laughs> they, they, they kept fucking her up like <laughs> to the point where she was just like you know what I'm gonna just run. I'm gonna see myself out. Mm-hmm. Like yo, that was hilarious. Like and any other, like the fact that they made a menage a trois or a threesome that funny. I got like that was like literally hilarious to me. Like that that was one of the funniest things I've ever seen. Um, but like I said, I I really can't say there's nothing about the movie that I didn't like. Um. And um, I'll just mention this then. My one, my other favorite part of the movie was the whole, the entire plane scene was hilarious because one of the guys reminded me of a coworker. You know exactly what coworker I'm talking about. Again, you won't mention names on here. We don't mention names, but you know exactly who I'm talking about. He reminded me of the coworker, and I was like, "Oh, that looks like so and so," and I laughed. But then, like when he told the guy. <laughs> <laughs> to smell his breath <laughs> to, see, to see how bad it is if his breath was bad and he was like 
Um, he kept, he's like, hey, come on now, come on, get up in there, get up in there. And he blew his breath on him. <laughs> and then he asked him, did you eat dog shit today? And then the guy freaked out. He's like, no, I'm just playing. But then that whole thing when he was asleep and she was giving the, eight, the HJ underneath the covers when she was asleep. Yeah. And then the late <laughs> the lady said, you going to hell? <laughs> that was another funny moment. So those are my three favorite things. The plane ride, when she fell off the uh, cliff, and, and um, what was it? Oh, the threesome scene. Or the the, the attempted threesome scene. Those are my three favorite parts of the movie. And it's a really funny movie. I mean, it was funny. Very funny. Funnier than I thought it would be. Uh, Lauren was a little annoying in the beginning. Took me getting used to. But it was funny. She made the movie. Without her, I don't think this becomes a uh, very funny movie. Thanks it would have been a uh, never a uh, David Spade failure on a solo term without a uh, Adam Sandler and Co. in it. But it turned out to be really good, very funny. The wife loved it. But the whole thing that got me, dude, the moment she got on that plane and you realize it's the wrong person, I don't care. I'm not. Go on, have your feelings be uh, protected by me. I don't care if you say you was about to kill yourself. You got to get off this plane. I don't like you. <laughs> you tried to get me beat up when we did a blind date. You thought it was a joke. No. I had to climb out a window for you. To That's, avoid why you. That's exactly why I said it. She had it's to go. It. It was a movie. You could tell it was a movie because anybody in that situation. Oh, yes. But see, he didn't pay attention to who he was texting for the rip. That was the problem. He didn't check the numbers. Same name. He didn't check it. I mean, that's on him. You know what else I thought that was weird? Anybody in the real world. This is, again, this is this is a movie world we're talking about. Versus real world. Anybody in the real world would have deleted the number. Like, oh my god, this is a terrible blind date. I mean, I'm I've been known to have not deleted numbers for a while. Because it, it gets annoying, especially now when you got Google and everything starting in the cloud. So you go from device to device, the numbers still stay there. You got to actually go in, delete, make sure it deletes from there. And it's annoying sometimes. I'm deleting it from the rips. If I'm not talking to you no more, your number is deleted. Eh, I mean, each person has, is different. But, but no. The fact that she fell from the cliff. And they have not one broken bone or nothing. Like, really? Y'all couldn't have a, a broken leg all of this? <laughs> she hit a tree on her back. Her spine should have been broken. She should have been talking like Mike Tyson's hand. <laughs> spinal. Right. She hit more than a tree. <laughs> I'm just saying, on the, fir- the first thing she hit going down was that. I don't know. She hit the rocks, then the tree, then she fell to the ground. Ah, yeah, rocks. Yeah. But no, nah, that was horrible. And then, no, but my funniest scene was towards the end when the the correct Missy showed up, she left, and then they went to have drink, to uh, go eat and talking or whatever, and the drinks come. No, 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 those aren't for me. Take a shot. No, no, it's not for me. Take another shot. Take another <laughs> shot. Take another shot. Then you want to start doing handstands out the window. Like, what was that? Like, really? He was showing his moves. And then the whole time she just sitting there. I don't I thought you don't drink. No, no, no that was after me. When he steady down on things. You thought that was funnier than those other scenes? No, I'm just saying that was the funniest scene to me just because of the fact of he supposedly don't drink, but he's drinking, and then the whole time she's right there, but you're saying no, those aren't for me, and you're taking the shots. And then you fall out the window. Yeah, you really don't drink, okay? You know what was funny, though? Why does man ankle keep he kept dislocating? I don't know. I mean, he's old. <laughs> he dislocated his ankle twice. He's old. So, who knows on that one? 
But, but yeah, I, I kind of had a little issue though with one thing. Is it? See, his boss seen him as his grandma. <laughs> that, was, that was hilarious. <laughs> like, mm, I love yeah, to be a granddad, but that's a bad imagery. How? Everybody loves their grandma. Everybody do. You don't like your grandma? I that I don't like the grandma. Okay, 95% of the people in the world love their grandma. I, about the 5% you, you crazy. Everybody love grandmoms. People love other people grandmoms. Like, everybody love a grandma. Yeah, but one thing. David Spade, please learn how to walk in a uh, mermaid suit. Because <laughs> you couldn't go to the same face first. Him? David Spade, it was Rob Snyder, right? Yeah, Rob Snyder was in uh, uh, the, the boat scene. Yeah, and then the bull with the eye. They are always in each other's movies. Like, that's yeah, right, that yeah. right there. That's the Ad, Adam Sandler crew. Yeah, that guy right, like, them three or them four, they always look out for each other and, like, put each other in movies, which is hilarious. And yes. Rob Snyder, with his, with, with, with his, like, <laughs> his hand, I'm not gonna mention no name, but I have a family member who actually has like their hand is literally like that, like legit. And when they pinch your cheek, it just it feels like a claw, like a crab claw. But we're not gonna go into it. But the fact that he was in the movie for me, like I, the fact that they're all together, like in each other's movies, like a lot. I think that's good. I think that's one of the dopest things you could do for somebody. Oh yeah, I mean that's a long time friendship commitment type of thing. It was definitely a good movie. What would you give it? What would you give it out of ten? And would you recommend it? I would recommend it for a good laugh. But if you just really got other stuff to watch, watch your other stuff first, and watch that for a good laugh, late night laugh. I'm giving it a six point five. Okay, so I, d- I definitely recommend it. I mean, especially if you're a comedy hit. You love comedy, you love to laugh, and you just like, I'm not going to say toilet humor because it wasn't toilet humor, but if you just like ratchet, like, because she was ratchet, like she was ratchet from the, from the word go. If you like ratchet comedy, that's what it's called, we call it ratchet comedy. If you like ratchet comedy, definitely watch it, or if you're just a comedy buff in general. I would give it a seven and a half out of ten. Um, I definitely enjoyed it thoroughly, and definitely would recommend it though. I definitely would recommend it. Okay. Now, before we uh, continue with uh, the show, I'm going to take a brief pause, everybody, and uh, discuss one other show briefly. Now, Stefan hasn't seen this show. I have. Because it looks boring. It's really good, though. Ditch me on Netflix. Season two already premiered. We're two seasons in. Last year was season one, and this year season two. This whole story is on the premise of uh, a relative's husband being hit, dying, basically hit and run. A woman comes around, befriends her, lies for most of the show. And then confesses that she hitting, well, her and her fiance at the time hit and killed her husband. In the season one, the realtor kills the fiance when he comes to her house and confronts her about everything, looking for his ex fiance. Season two starts off interesting, though, because it starts off at the uh, point after, right after all that happened, cover up behind the body, finding out about. Uh, the neighbor's webcam, well, security cameras that court the uh, guy coming to the place but not leaving. It got interesting when they uh, brought in the brother as being a twin brother to the show and seeing Judith and the uh, rest of the cast, uh, Jen, really uh, looking at it, looking at him like, um, did he really survive or did he not? And then luckily Judith quickly remembering that he has a twin brother 
But throughout the show, it kind of uh, picked up a bit. At first, I thought it might have become a snooze fest for season two because season one was really interesting. But halfway through season two, it kind of it really started picking up when uh, J- Judith starts dating the lead investigator on the case's uh, ex girlfriend. That's when it got really interesting because then you really mixing it up a bit, and then. Jen starts dating the twin brother. Well, I won't say dating. I'm not going to say dating. They start kissing, start having feelings for each other. Close enough to dating. So it got interesting. Now, season final has me pulled into it for season three. When... Twin brother does a hit and run on Judith and Jen because he's drinking because they found his brother's corpse finally. And luckily, though, as of right now, Jen and Judith are okay. But we'll see. That's something to go check out if you like a kind of dry comedy and some suspense and a thriller into it. More so dry comedy, though. Anyway, Basura. Huh? I couldn't hear that over there, sir. Keep Basura. that. Anyway, back to the Ronald Missy. Yeah, if you uh, are high and need a comedy to watch, watch the Ronald Missy. Well, if you're why sober, do you to, why do you have to be high? I wasn't I'm, high. I wasn't either. I'm just saying. Some people can't find. Uh, those kind of humans with David Spade's movies of as of late, so I'm just saying. I'm not going to recommend it as a movie just to sit and watch just because you want to watch something. If you want some serious laughs and comedy, then watch it. But isn't that what comedy is? Serious laughs? I've seen some comedies that I was like... Mm, I mean, I know there's some comedies that are not comedy. good. And let's not forget, they did try to black blackball uh, Get Out and try to make it a comedy, label it as a comedy when it was a horror film. So, like, I get that, but my whole thing is that's legit. It was a legit comedy. Oh, it was. I mean, anything. It was, I was, was, people would say, oh, it's a, uh, what is what they call it? A rom com or what it's called? A romance comedy or something like that? Yeah. I mean, it was comedy and romance. And. I didn't feel the romance. It's supposed I mean, to be romance. I didn't feel the romance. romance it but got the was good. It, it's definitely yeah. I like the vanilla ice scene. Towards the end? Yeah, that was funny too. That wasn't that wasn't even that funny. It was funny, especially when he mentioned about the boost and then uh, he said hell no, basically. Like it was it, it, that wasn't funny. Like it was because to me I didn't expect them to pull uh, another celebrity out at the end to the show. Vanilla Ice hasn't been relevant for like 20 years. Actually, he's been in more TV movie stuff lately. He has been relevant in music for years. <laughs> yeah, so I'm, like I said, I would definitely recommend it if you're a comic. Like, if you like to laugh and we enjoy comedy movies. I think like comedy movies is my favorite genre. Like no matter what. Um but like I said I would definitely recommend that show. I mean that movie. Um to anyone that's in a comedy or if you want to good laugh. You don't have to be high. I wasn't high. I had a snack. I had some chips and I had some juice and water and I enjoyed the movie from start to finish. I had about two, three drinks though. Don't know. But what? That's because you're becoming an alcoholic. This quarantine got you becoming an alcoholic. It was a Friday night. See, I didn't watch it on a Friday night. I watched it. What's the yeah, day? I know. I watched it on a Tuesday evening. evening. Mm-hmm. But anyway, carrying on. So, these next few episodes that we're going to be doing, we're going to have a mixture of games in it. Since Mafia 2 and 3. The definitive editions have come out. We'll be definitely reviewing those next week. We're also going to very soon be doing Mortal Kombat 11. It's called the DLC. 
Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Okay, Aftermath. Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. Um, and okay. obviously, you know, Snowpiercer. Yes, Sunday. Watch that Sunday night at 9, TNT. Oh, if you want we're also going to do 13 Reasons Why. Which releases July 5th. I'm sorry, June 5th. I'm going to say July 5th. That's in June. Um, also, um, Ricky is a little box. bit slow on animes. This is terrible. Um, so, there haven't been... Uh, I'm not going to say there hasn't been any good animes for me to watch recently. But... If you have a recommendation on an anime that you want us to watch, just drop it below. Comment, drop it below. And I don't care if it's dubbed or subbed. I feel like some things in... Please um, No, no, no. Dub or sub, it, it, listen, it doesn't matter. Like, there are some things in sub that's hilarious, more hilarious than this in sub or in dubbed and vice versa. For example... I just give you a quick example, and I'm pretty pretty sure that anybody who watches anime will agree. There's this anime called Hunter x Hunter. I've and, heard of it. Yeah, and one of the main characters' name, well, the main character, his name is Gong, and the main villain or his rival or his adult rival, his name is Hisoka, or whatever. Right? They were fighting in um, this tournament, not this tournament, like this this this. Uh, I forget the name of it. They were fighting. And as Gon was like literally teeing off on Hisoka, right? Hisoka was like weird. He was like in the boys, kind of like it, it was implied that he was in the boys. So like as Gon is teeing off of him in Japanese, you really can't get the the affection that he was having when that was happening. But in the sub. This man was really moaning his name while he was getting punched in the face, which made it ten times more awkward. It's like, this grown man is moaning this young boy's name while he's getting punched in the face. And that's why I said sub or dub. Like, you get different things of it. So, it doesn't matter for me. I enjoy both sub and dub anime. Um, so, it's so just a new anime for me to watch. I said, well, for the both of us, because I'm a force to watch it. Uh, cool. man. I got stuff for him to be forced to watch too. I know I'm just some stuff that I'm be forced to watch, but I, I just couldn't do the lie to me, dead to me, whatever it is. It, it's called dead to me, sir. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't do it. But it, you're about to be in a second. Keep messing up the name, say. I'm only joking. Well, okay, so also coming out in June, you're also going to have The Order Season 2. I'll be doing a review on that as well. We got some movies coming out, including Spike Lee's next big Netflix uh, movie with uh, Chadwick Boseman. We so, try to do. We try to. Parts. I tried to watch Black. It was trash as fuck. <laughs> what did you try to watch? Black as fuck. Ah uh, yeah. Listen, oh, yeah, that, that gives us a brief moment now to uh, address that. So no, I can't even address. This is why I can't address it. Because I'm going to address that show right now. You can address it. it. You can address whatever you want. But here's my it only was thing. partial comedy. So and it was weak partial comedy. Let me just say my little quick thirty second. Mm-hmm. I went into it with. I'm not going to say high expectations. I just went into it with just okay. Let's 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 watch it. It was so bad that I was just like, yo, this is garbage. And then my wife was like, ah, let's give it one more episode. The first, ep- the second episode was just as trash as the first episode. That thing is doo doo. That man is better writing scripts. Because, excuse me, I love Blackish. I love Mixes. Me and my wife watches that all the time, religiously. He just needs those sticks to write because his acting and that was just. But didn't he write this too? Last time I checked, I thought he wrote this. I don't know if he wrote it, but if he wrote it, he needs to go back to the drawing board. This was trash. Okay. Each his own. But also coming this week, I'm going to do a full review for uh, Upload, which is out on Amazon. And I'm also going to give my quarantine must-watch list. Have you ever watched uh, Avatar, The Last Airbender? 
Yes, I've watched some of the episodes. The movie was trash. It did not oh, live no, up no, to no, the show. No, 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 no. The movie did not uh, live up to the show. What are you talking about? Avatar, The Last Ember, Airbender movie did not live up to the show. No, it didn't happen. What are you talking about? <laughs> it happened. I don't fact, it happened. Mm-hmm. And sadly, it I might happen again. I don't remember that ever happening. Okay. They, now. This is what happened. Hear me out. They talked about making a movie, right? They said, we're going to get M-, M. Night Shyamalan to make this movie. Then they thought about it and was like, nah, we're not going to do that. And they never made the movie. I don't know. Just like they was thinking about making a Dragon Ball Z movie. It oh, never revolution? happened. Funny, funny you should mention. One of the <laughs> forums, they, that's what they were discussing. Bad script. That's all I'm going to say. Bad script. Bad script. That was bad everything. Bad acting. Terrible play. It was. It didn't happen, so I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. So, yeah, it didn't happen. All right, and also, if anybody has any movies or TV shows that they think we should watch or check out to do a review on, let us know. Add it in the comments, and don't forget to always like and subscribe. Or, I mean, if you don't like us, also dislike too. No, if you don't like us, still like us. Uh, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. That does that. Like or dislike. Subscribe if you if you do like us though. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can get a, uh, the uploads as soon as it drops. And also tell a friend. I don't got no friend. Okay. But that about wraps it up for this episode, everybody. Thank you for watching us. And until next time.